Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video about the Sanders Chucka Boot. I can honestly say the first time I saw this Chucka Boot was in the movie Bullet. I thought it was very interesting the way the light hit it. It was a very unique shoe and it's unmistakable. It took me a long time to find out exactly what it is. There are a lot of ones that say it's that shoe, but I'm telling you right now, allegedly, and if you look at it close enough, I guarantee you it, it's pretty much 99, 98% match. Maybe. I would say it's the original one. That's my opinion, but I, I mean this shoe is extremely unique. Okay, what makes it unique is it's a regular chucka boot, which I mean chucka boot is a chucka boot, but it has this crepe sole right here. This crepe sole makes it stand out. And if you watch in the movie when he's walking around, you can clearly see this crepe sole. That's what leads me to believe that it is Sanders. Okay, these. Are extremely soft the suede is absolutely just immaculate as far as being smooth to the touch I really enjoy this it shines beautifully in the light I can't say this enough if you see this online and you look at it it is it's one of those things where if you see it online and you look at it and you see it in person you'll understand why I purchased these in person when the light shines on these it just looks absolutely beautiful the way the light hits it is dark spots light spots I really enjoy that about this shoe and the best part is it's extremely easy to put on you just open this up the tongue is put your or I'll take the shoe tree out you take the shoe tree out you have a shoe horn it, it's very easy these are made in England uh, since was it 1873 Sanders made in England Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put this down in the description, okay? The style is 6480PSS, okay? That is the style of this shoe, all right? It took me a long time to find these because knowing myself, I always try to find stuff on discount. I don't want to pay full price for anything if I don't have to, and it actually came into fruition. If I remember correctly, I bought these on Country Attire the website country attire if i remember correctly it may have been another website but originally these sell for like 200 250 dollars because you're these usually are sold with british uh, so it's actually uh the british pound so obviously we have american pesos here so the british pound usually has a has a stronger currency than what we have okay so that's something to take into account more likely than not my favorite pair of shoes that i own it feels like you're walking on a cloud because of this crepe sole Okay. Some other things that I'd like to mention is, as I mentioned before, I wear a triple E dress shoe. Okay, it's very rare for me to get a casual shoe and me be able to to use it. Okay, I actually kind of double dipped, and I'll explain the story. Okay, these are a size 12. Generally, I wear an 11 and a half triple E. So this shoe is generally wide. I don't have any issues with it with it squeezing my foot. That's something that I really enjoy. And I have to say that if you do have, like myself, or you have that wide foot, I would strongly suggest going up a size. As far as, for example, like I said before, I'm an 11 and a half. So what I did is I went up to a 12. And then because of that, I haven't had any issues. It's not crammed up here in the front. I'm perfectly fine. I'm able to walk all day. I've walked all day in these before. And I haven't really had any issues with my feet swelling or anything, any kind of pinching or nothing. So that's definitely something that I would say to take into consideration. All right. It's also leather lined in here, if that matters to you. And if I must say, the only drawback that I could see about these is these, this crepe sole, actually. The benefit of it, in my opinion. But a drawback is, I don't even know if you can replace this. I, I don't know if you can take this to a cobbler and have this replaced. I honestly don't know. If you guys know of somebody or know that this can be done, then please leave it down in the comments. But I would say that's probably the only drawback about this is I don't know anyone that can fix this. If, if you wear this down, so keep that in mind. Okay, and as I mentioned before, I'm going to do a continuation of what I was talking about earlier. It's a double dip. So do you see this white spot right here? This was a defect from when I bought it. I didn't care. I think I got it for like $180 or $190 because it had one white spot on it. Honestly, I could care less. Um, I was going to wear them anyway, and more likely than not, by wearing them, something's going to happen to them to begin with. I know myself, and so if I'm going to own something, I'm going to wear it. 
because honestly a lot of people don't realize this the stuff that you buy and don't wear is costing you the most money if you're gonna buy something make sure you wear it because that way you know for sure I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this so that's something that I that's that's something that I lucked into is it was the correct size and it just happened to have this problem right here and that's not from the factory that's not from or it was from the factory but it's not something that that uh, that's normal this is not normal but I didn't care because it came at what forty dollars fifty dollar discount and guess what I took advantage of that that's something that I definitely do want to say is I would strongly recommend these shoes they're Sanders I'll put the style number down in the description and I'd also like to say if I haven't earned your subscription yet please subscribe down below hopefully the day is the day that I do that and if y'all have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave, please leave them down below in the comments. And y'all have a nice day.